Hi, everybody. This is Yashika and Greg. As Hi. you can see, we have just made some old fashions by um, way of an Epicurious recipe. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. And then before you come to this episode, bring your drink along mm. with you. Today, we Need are it. going to be answering a listener question. We had a question that came from, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Dilly Fonseca or Fonseca that asked us, how do we work in a relationship where we compromise and where we can find balance, especially if we have maybe differing aspirations as far as like career, spiritual, etc. So I have Greg here to help answer this question. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> again, <laughs> on the spot, yeah. um, you feel a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's going to mm -hmm. be easy. <laughs> so I just want to ask you a couple questions about how you feel we find balance, especially because there are so many ways that we are different, even though, you know, at the core of who we are, our values are very similar. Right. And I think maybe that's the first thing that you guys have to pay attention to is when you pick your partner, everything about your partner doesn't have to be similar, but you do have to pick somebody that's going to have similar core values to you because you mm -hmm. have to find something that grounds and anchors the relationship. And if those two things don't match, then that's where you're going to, I think, yeah. run into issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to try to break this question down for you a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to start off with, do you feel like you and I have differing goals or like personal aspirations yeah i think yeah. we do yeah i mean it's normal yeah like i but, mentioned spirituality i yeah. think our spirituality is a little bit different how yeah. does that make you feel um fine because i learned different perspectives so i think that's a good thing other than what i grew up with or what i yeah may currently believe it adds value to my life does it scare you sometimes especially because maybe some of the things that i believe in are not things that you or i have been traditionally taught yeah, are things that we it i mean a little but it doesn't mean i have to it scares you a little bit <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to affect us you know i can still let you be you and believe what you want to believe and i can believe what i want to believe we don't have to be pulled apart yeah by that so you just again you said compromise earlier you have to compromise and, and maybe you pick something up you learn something yeah from your ideas or i learned do you I, learn from my ideas I, yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I pick stuff up. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So then how does it feel? Is there any part of our relationship where you may feel like we have difficulty coming to a state of balance or a state of compromise? I think... Uh... There might not be one. We yeah. might just be that awesome. I think we are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can say that. We don't have that. <laughs> Why do you think that we may not struggle with that compromise and that balance that other people may have to compromise in their relationship? Uh, maybe because we're both open-minded and we both are able to, we want to maybe learn about one another or other subjects or topics. So I think if you're close-minded, you're not going to, you know, you're going to constantly butt heads. So. Yeah. That's probably a big part of it. Yeah, I agree. Do you think there's anything that you would want us to be more on the same page with if you could snap your fingers and make me change my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. I think it's it's a good balance. I think I've learned a lot from you, and it just helps me make my own mind up or choices going forward about whatever. Not even just spirituality, about everything. Yeah. And you know, we may have grown up different, but we're the same in a lot of ways. We grew up the same in a lot of ways yeah. too. So we always seem to find similarities. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. I think we, there is, sometimes we do butt heads. So I don't want you guys to think that like it's, we're perfect and we don't argue or we don't disagree because we do like, for instance, politically, and it's not politically in the fact that it's like Democrat or Republican, but sometimes we would butt heads on the validity of politics in general. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you think we handle that? Like, how do you think if somebody wanted to get advice about how to move through that kind of difficulty and butt heads how how, how do you think i think it's the same you just maybe it's a give and take again mm -hmm. so you listen to the other person's ideas i don't think you have to worry about 
influencing or changing their mind. Yeah, I don't think that works. Yeah, you're never going to change. I mean, you could, but when it comes to politics, especially, I feel like people's when their minds are made up, unfortunately, they don't they don't want to budge. Yeah. So you just can't let that be the centerpiece of maybe certain conversations or yeah. <laughs> get that out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You do this. So there's that. <laughs> I'm getting drilled here. So I agree with Greg. I think that the most important thing that you have to remember is that your partner is not going to be your twin. That's the reason why you get into a partnership Mm -hmm. is so you can grow and learn and evolve. In fact, if you are not, and if you guys are the same person, you're probably going to reach a state of being stagnant or stuck or unfulfilled or find that that relationship is purposeless because some of your biggest lessons in life are going to come through your partner. So your partner does not have to be your twin. At the same time, if you have a core value that's really important to you, I feel like you should know ahead of time if your partner is on board or aligned with that core value. Because I think that, again, where you're going to find those issues that come up around trying to force somebody to something you feel strongly about is if you have mismatched core values. Mm -hmm. It is okay for him to want to aspire to a different job, for me to want to aspire to a different job, and all of these things. Because at the end of the day, I don't think that my job defines me. Do you think that your job defines no. you? So no. so that's not one of our core values. Yeah. But I think that when we talk about like family, honesty, trust, those are things that matter. So those are things that you fight to death for, you don't compromise on. The way those things are more real than... For some people. Yeah. But like if somebody thinks that religion is important, I feel like... I mean, that's... Yeah, it's... If it's like your core and you feel strongly that you want to be with a partner like that, then you need to know before you get with that partner if that partner is aligned. Because once you start trying to force an issue, like how how would you feel if I tried to make... Like force you to read tarot cards? Yeah, I'd be like, uh, no... Oh, that's how you. How would you feel? You turn it around. Not what? feel. How would you I feel? feel? Let me ask you again. How would you feel like if I forced you to try to read tarot cards or mess with crystals or things like that? Uh, I mean, you couldn't make me do something. I yeah. Don't do so. So how would you feel if I was just trying to force you to compromise, compromise, yeah. and come over to my side? I would feel annoyed. Yeah. Would you do it? No. I'm if not I tried to it. convince you, I wouldn't you? do anything I don't want to do. What if I was like trying to really convince you, and I had like I knew I was right? How would that would that make you come over to my side? No, unless I want to do that, it's not going to work. And right? It's like anything, you can't force anybody to do anything if they don't have a passion yeah. to do it. So, yeah. has it ever made you feel like if you had been in that situation before and somebody tried to force you to do something, how did you react to that? Usually, I just walk away. <laughs> Forced me to do what? what are you doing I don't know what they're forcing me to do. If somebody is trying to force you, so if somebody tries to force you to compromise by you adopting what they think is right, how do you react to that type of a pressure? Oh, I just stand up for what I believe. I just say what I believe. I don't. How do you feel when somebody forces you to do something you don't want to do? I don't do it. But how do you feel? Do you mm-hmm. feel connected to them? No. Do you feel resentful? Yeah. Do you feel annoyed? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You love them less, more? Way less. (laughs) Has that happened to you? You can't make me do anything. (laughs) I'm not going to do it. Okay. So, yeah, it would drive a wedge between Uh, the relationship if you try to make the other person do something they don't want to do. Okay. I mean, it does it doesn't work. Yeah. So you can't I can't change. You can't change through force. Yeah. If you want to try to get somebody to adopt your point of view, maybe because you 
you think and you have to really check yourself when you're doing this because I don't agree in doing this. But if you really feel that it's for someone's highest and best good to change a behavior or something like that, then I think that you influence it by living it, by being it, by being evidence of what it is that you want to see in your outer world. And so anytime that you do want your partner to come along, you do that through love and influence and being. Mm hmm. Huh? I said not threats. Not threats. <laughs> not good. No. <laughs> Did it work? Mm -mm. Should I be threatening you? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> um. So uh, this was all a long and roundabout way to say that the way that we find compromise is by having honest conversations. It sounds like. Um, it sounds like from Greg's perspective, he feels like it's not about trying to change somebody. It's about being open-minded and allowing your partner to be who they want to be. And I feel like a lot of that conversation around alignment needs to happen before you enter into a relationship. A lot of times we rush or we compromise on our values in order to be in a, in a relationship thinking that we're going to change something mm -hmm. in the future. And oftentimes when it doesn't, we end up butting our heads against the wall trying to force something to happen that is just not going to happen. Nope. Any parting words from you, Greg? <laughs> um, <laughs> if somebody was in a relationship and they felt that they weren't able to find the balance and the compromise that we're able to find, what advice would you give them? I would say you have to talk about the differences you might have and you have to find some middle ground. No, but they can't find the middle ground. Oh, then what do you, you think they should do? You need to separate. I mean, if you can't find middle ground. <laughs> okay. Okay. That worked. That's fair. You're done. Okay. No, no. Um, That's fair. Yeah, I mean, if one person can't budge on something, whatever it might be, uh, you might never find common ground. Yeah. And so then. Or you can't bring that up, which is unfortunate too. Yeah, because then it makes it fake. Yeah. So if, if you can't find common ground and you can't, and you feel like you can't compromise or settle in some way, mm -hmm. and it's that big. If it's a big. Yeah, mm -hmm. if whatever that is is a big part of your life, then that might be a problem. Yeah, it might be a deal breaker. It could be counseling. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you want to go down that. No. Oh my god, are we even helpful right now? No, I don't know. You just do your own thing. Then yeah, adios. <laughs> well, there you have it. Adios. <laughs> if it bugs you that bad, you can't. You're gonna be with someone and resent them. You can't do that either. Yeah. I guess you have to change your perspective. If, if someone's going to have to. Somebody's going to have to. Or just so, like you said, ignore it and be fake. Yeah. All right. We're going to close it off here. Yeah. Right. Hopefully <laughs> give you a little bit of insight into how we deal with things when we have to compromise, when we're not moving in the same direction. It's just a matter of respecting each other to be our own separate individuals. And at the same time, coming back together on the things that are important to us and that and the things that are important to us match. And so we um we live from that space and we love from that space and give each other the room to live freely outside of those bounds. Yeah. All right. So we mm -hmm. have a couple more questions that um, listeners have given us. So we will be back with the episode together shortly. Until then, enjoy your drink. Yep. Enjoy this podcast. Listen to our other previous podcasts. And we will talk to you in a bit. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.